Hello there. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk, my little Twisted Bean Sprouts. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, so I am doing a box packing of this little adorable ethnic vampire baby. I have to say, just so you guys know, my power went out this day and I was recording without the light. So it's a kind of a little bit dysfunctional story of my life, right? But I did want to send her off and I didn't want to miss the opportunity of doing her box closing. So here she is. Um, she is the Colin kit. You know, I forget what the sculptor is. I know, surprise, surprise right there. But she has huge green eyes, uh, darker skin, and painted hair. She's so cute. This kit is so cute. Oh my goodness. But um, I'm putting this really cute green onesie tutu dress on her with a unicorn. And the way that I'm dressing her kind of looks like I've never in my life dressed a baby ever before. I don't know why I'm having so much issues right now putting that little outfit on this little dolly. <laughs> Come on, Bean, get it freaking together. Holy cow. Yeah, my power went out this day. It was so crazy. I was on the phone and then I was like, oh, my power just went off. I hope we don't lose power. And then like literally two minutes later, we lost power and it was supposed to go back on at noon, but it didn't till like 5 a.m. the next day. <laughs> but anyways, um, there was a little bit close up of her face. Excuse the singing child in the background. Um, I've actually been doing voiceovers. It's a little bit easier for me to do these days because while I'm recording, they're like running around in the background. <laughs> so a little bit of a singing isn't too bad. And, uh, but otherwise I have to just kind of, yeah, do the voiceover. I know the story of my freaking life right now. You guys told you, told you 220 is the gift that keeps on giving the year that keeps on giving, right? So right there, I magically just got dressed Good job, Bean. You actually got dressed for the day. And uh, when I'm packing up my babies, I do like to layer them in different things. So I put a little bonnet on her. She looks so cute in that little bonnet. Some knee socks as usual. And then I'll usually tie a little bit of string around the ankles so that she's nice and confined in the box and doesn't get loose and bite all the other babies in the post office. Right? I'm just doing my duty. Doing my duty of a good reborn artist, Mom. Yeah. I mean, I contain my babies. Can you say the same for yours? Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's only mine that are rowdy when they get to the post office. Probably would be. Oh, yep, that wouldn't surprise me at all. But, um, oh, and by the way, that's my painting in the background. So here she is. So adorable. Her mouth is beautiful. Her lips are beautiful. And um, yeah, I had so much fun making her. And I'm so happy that she found an awesome home. I'm going to wrap her up as snug as a bug in her twisted beanstalk blanket. And come on now, bean. God, chop, 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 chop now. So I'm just going to swaddle her. That's weird. I didn't put a diaper on her face. Normally I do that. Maybe I'll clue in in a second and be like, oh, wait, where's the diaper? Right? Late to the party. As long as I get it done. Oh, look at you guys. I listened to myself. You see that? Oh, I knew it. I know myself so well. Did you see that? I know. I get like double points for, for calling myself out and then actually doing it right. But uh, there's her diaper on her head. Way to go, Bean. God, the... Ugh, man, everything in this video is like slightly fuzzy because the lighting sucks. I mean, it's beautiful. Good job, Bean. You're so good at making these videos. Just continue. Just continue on making them when the power's out. That's just such a such a great idea. Such a great... Thank God I can paint, you guys. Thank God I can paint. So I'm putting a little bunny in there for her. For her, her, little, her little company on her big trip. I don't even know what I did with the shipping box here. It's probably... Mm, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to wrap her up and then probably stick her in her Ziploc bag because I like them nice and fresh for when they arrive. There's my beautiful painting again. Alrighty, restraint this little baby in a string. I feel like that wouldn't be much of a restraint if it were a real vampire, but hey, what, what do you know? What do I say? I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one. 
Okay, so there is her box, I see. Oh, there it is with the Christmas paper, just how I like it. So what's crazy about these Ziploc bags, you guys, is I bought them like five years ago, I swear to God. I bought like, I think, I don't know how many came in the package, but it was a lot and I still have them and I'm just so impressed by that. <sighs> yep. Yep. You never know if your package gets wet or anything, so it's good to just make sure that the that the value valuables are wrapped up. Uh, here's a little onesie that I made. It says we should probably cuddle and then I will chew your face off or then I'll eat your face. <laughs> Some unicorn uh, leg warmers, a really cute little bottle that's actually normally really sparkly, but again, there's like no light. So that was a fail. My little twisted beanstalk onesie. And I'm going to wrap them all up together and put them in the box. And what do we have here? A little unicorn shirt. Anything unicorn is adorable, right? Everything. There's my little cards with some hair bows. And then I have a little monster outfit that she would look so cute in. That is like the cutest little outfit ever. I'm also going to send her a blanket with the rainbows and balloon animals. Oh gosh, I love this material so much. I love cutting it up and giving it to foster babies. I like hoarded it like crazy because I know that once it sells out, it's gone forever. And I'm like, no, no balloons. Come back. Come back. Oh, <laughs> Yep, there's their certificate. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.